This was not a hard thing to do. He was a born listener, and he did truly like the younger man. In addition, the two of them had one big thing in common. Both were still in love with the same beautiful dead woman. And uh, that's when I knew I made a good choice picking this book up by Haruku Murakami. I hope I, I know I'm saying that wrong. Men Without Women. This I read the first short story, Drive My Car. And it was beautifully written. Very easy to read. Uh, it was 40 pages, but it went by like that. Uh, very Just the way I like it. Very beautifully written. Short story. Very complete. Uh, the story was uh, of an actor who loses his license. Uh, has a... Uh, alcohol, uh, DUI, and uh, find out he has got coma. That's not important anyways, but he hires a female driver and uh, they, you know, they drive around and one day they have a conversation and the conversation is about his dead wife and how he discovered that she was having an affair, multiple affairs, and how after her death, he became friends with, uh, befriended one of them for a time. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, all these stories, uh, the title of the book is Men Without Women. They're, all the stories are going to be stories about men without women in some way or another. And it was very, very good. You know, I've heard mixed things from the author, honestly. Most people, I hear good things, but sometimes I hear some bad things, you know. But, uh, no, I liked it. You know, it was very, very wonderfully written. And, you know, it's, uh... Just a good, a good story, uh, especially after what I read earlier, the crap I read sometimes. But finding a good short story from this author, and I'll be uh, sure to uh, pick up his novels. I'm not so uh, hesitant. You know, whenever you try a new person, a new author, uh, you always think that you're going to maybe not like it. But no, the way he writes, and uh, it was very good. That's good.